guys, I am EC Miner and welcome to this video. In this video I want to talk about three things. The PvP Dojo 2.0 closed beta uh, ranks on PvP Dojo 2.0 and I want to give an in-depth uh, explanation on the custom kit creator. I also want to thank uh, Thomas for building this amazing new spawn. Uh, Thomas is an admin on PvP Dojo and he is also my best Minecraft uh, friend. So yeah, th Thomas if you're watching this video, thank you a lot. Um, I really do appreciate it and it's freaking lovely, it's so beautiful. So yeah, let's continue with the video. So I want to start off talking about the beta. You most probably have seen either Schmucky or B-Ball's video on PvP Dojo 2.0. In that video they said you could now purchase a PvP Dojo 2.0 closed beta pass. What they forget to say is that we are currently not ready to run the closed beta. Apparently, a lot of people thought that the closed beta was already there, but that is not the case. It will still take me 5 to 7 days, if not longer, to get the plugin to a beta testing stage. Um, I will announce the closed beta 2-3 two, three, two, three days before we actually run it. Uh, and the IP, IP will be beta.pvpdojo.com Also, if you have YouTuber rank on PvP Dojo, you will get a free pass for the closed beta. Now, on to the ranks. You might have noticed that on the Bycraft page there is a pre-sale for PvP Dojo 2.0 ranks. Um, this brought a lot of questions to players who already bought a rank on the current PvP Dojo. Uh, lots of players have been asking me if they will still keep their rank on PvP Dojo 2.0. And my answer to that is yes. Um, you will keep your rank on PvP Dojo 2.0. The only thing is that when you purchase a pre-sale rank on it for PvP Dojo 2.0, you will get all kinds of features. One of them is you get a couple of chests. Um, with these chests you can unlock random abilities. If you purchase a rank on the current PvP Dojo, it will be transferred, but you won't get like these chests for instance. Um, so you will still have the same permissions as the people who bought uh, a rank for PvP Dojo 2.0. You just don't get some features uh, that they do. So you guys don't have to worry that you will lose your rank because you already bought it and we, we're we not gonna like screw you up by taking away your rank that you already purchased but there's just a couple of things that you don't get uh, which other people do get if they buy it for PvP Dojo 2 Now on to the kit creator. Um, so what the kit creator is, um, it allows you to create your own kit you can add any any ability to your kit, but you still have to unlock it with chests, just as Beeble said. Um, but there, of course, is a limit, uh, because every kit has its own amount of points. This depends on the rarity of the ability. Gold is the most rare and white is the least rare. There's a lot of other rarity trees in between it. And you can have up to 20 points, and you can't go over that. So yeah, so basically we set a limit, and I'm just gonna show you what I mean with the point limit. So you basically just cl uh, click the anvils. At the moment they don't really look that well because of my texture pack. Um, and we might change it too, because um, I don't know, but we might change it. So you just right click it and it opens this GUI. And this is where all your custom kits are displayed. <coughs> and um, I have three at the moment, but you start off with one. Um, so I have three custom kits. And if I click on it, I have a bunch of options. So in here, I have the custom item option. Basically, what it is, you can create uh, an item, not really create one, but you can choose an item and set its ability like a kangaroo ability, like something that um, does something with clicking your item. Um, so basically you just click it and you get this GUI. Here you can choose your item. We have this whole list of items which you can choose from. But of course you can also search for it. Um, so let's search for um, uh, redstone let me see what it comes up. See, it comes everything with redstone in here. So I'm just going to choose a redstone torch. And now this item is a redstone torch. But now I want to add an ability to this item. So whenever I click this uh, item, I want it to do something. So I, oh, I click on this one, click abilities. And I have a bunch of items and I'm still adding uh, abilities as I speak. 
Um, so we have Colossus, Kangaroo, Nuker, Pillar, and Superman. So let me just get. Um, let me just get Pillar ability. So in here you can uh, you can customize whatever you want. You can you know, customize the pillar height, the the cooldown, and the pillar speed. So the speed uh, that it builds up the blocks. And if you uh, hover over to this, it says the amount of points it costs. And at the moment it costs two points. So that will be added. And if you already have 20 points, you can't add this because then it will uh, go over the 20 point limit, of course. But if I um, add like um, improvements on it, if I d increase the uh, pillar height, um, it will add one more point. So now it says this ability costs three points. So they will get more expensive the more uh, you improve it. Um, so let me just max it out real quick. And if you max out, you got 17 points. So you've basically used all your points already. And that's um, that's how we kind of balance this. And we set the points for an ability. So we also set points for like kangaroo. We set it to 10, and I think to for stomper we set it to 12. So you can never combine these. So you, so you can't combine kangaroo with stomper. So you can't like jump up and then stomp people. So if I now click on this one. It will save it because if I click on back or I click on this one, it will be undone, as it says there. Any unsaved changes will be undone. Um, so if I click on here, now it's selected because this glass pane is now turned to green. So um, this is now selected, and now I've got one clickability, and it also displays here current ability, pillar ability. <laughs> um, so, but this is not the only thing we have because we also have um, normal abilities, like different abilities, which um, doesn't do anything with items. So we go over to here, this fire thing, and we have a bunch of categories. We have fall abilities, hit abilities, kill abilities, kill streak abilities, and neutral abilities. Neutral abilities are just all of the other abilities which are not listed in here, basically. So let me just go to fall abilities. Um, I have this option, less fall damage ability, so you can customize the max amount of fall damage you can take. And I have this blue thing, which is a weird thing, of course, but this basically just means a subcategory in this category. And it doesn't, doesn't have a description right now because I still need to add that. So if I click in here, it will go to the fall radius ability um, subcategory, and you can choose from fall launch shop ability, uh, and stomper ability because basically what the fall radius abilities mean means is that whenever you fall it will do something to players in a radius of you so let me just set up a stomper ability because in here you can customize the max radius of it it's uh, max to 4 and the, the least radius is uh, 2 so the default point is 12 and if I increase it to uh, stomper radius 4 it's set to 14 points so now I can choose it, and you can see here it, it it's um, it's uh, changed to green, so that means I'm s I've selected it. But you can also add uh, more uh, fall abilities. So let's say I want a less fall damage ability. I want to set my max um, amount of hearts to one instead of two, because Stomper uh, gives you like a max of two uh, fall hearts. And if I set it to uh, one, it says here less fall damage. Meaning it's selected because it's green. So then I can basically just go back and I can choose this kit. So now you will see that I have this uh, redstone torch, uh, which is my um, pillar ability, I think. Yeah, it was pillar ability. And now if I right click it, it will start pillaring me up. And now if I uh, jump down, I have a max uh, fall amount of one heart and it will also stun people, but you know. So. That's basically um, how this kit creator thing works. You can have like an unlimited amount of custom kits. I'm also going to add uh, a feature so you can um, name your kit, I think. Uh, and in here it displays how many points you uh, use, but it says 0 out of 20 because I haven't really set that up yet, but I'm still going to do that. So that was a more in-depth video on how to use the kit creator. Um, yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're looking forward to PvP Tojo 2.0 uh, because I really am looking forward to it. Um, 
subscribe to my channel to keep uh, updated for PvP Dojo 2 video because I'm gonna add, upload a lot of videos on the progress I made and like new features I add so um, if you want to stay updated just subscribe if you like this video leave a like uh, leave a comment saying whatever um, and I will see you guys in my next video bye bye